We want to get to some breaking news. We're watching out of the state of Florida in this Senate race that is being so closely watched. Has the governor there, Charlie Crist, a Republican, made a decision about what party he will be running in for the Senate race? Uh, let's get to Carl Cameron. He has some answers for us. Carl, what do you It's very important to to note here at the outset that the governor's office and the Christ Republican for Senate campaign are not part of our reporting here. They have been very tight-lipped and very cautious about that, even as for the last several weeks, Charlie Christ's own personal rhetoric and all of the plannings and political machinations in the governor's office, in the Christ campaign, in the Republican Party of Florida, and on the streets of the Sunshine State have been pointing to the likelihood that Charlie Christ is going to do this. Uh, there are insiders close to the governor who now say that he's made up his mind that the, that the die is cast, as was once said by one of his close allies, and that the decision has been made that he will pursue this as an independent. He continues to tell people that he is listening to voters in Florida and advisors and confidants in Washington, D.C. Uh, he makes a distinction that the advice from Washington is that he not drop out of the party and continue to remain a Republican, and that independent. there are polls in which he actually leads as an independent candidate in a three-way race against the Republican conservative Marco Rubio, who is trouncing him in the primary polls, and the Democrat, uh, who Kendrick Meek, a four-term congressman, who would actually be trailing in many of those polls. So uh, it looks as though Charlie Crist will be in St. Petersburg, his hometown, tomorrow uh, at Straub Park, a place that he has in the past used for ceremonial big announcements. Uh, saying that he's going to stay in the Republican race as a Republican would be fairly mundane. So the idea that all of the stops are being pulled out and the pieces are being put in place for a big announcement tomorrow has his confidants and insiders both in Tallahassee, in St. Petersburg, and across southern Florida saying that his mind is made up. And tomorrow, the governor of Florida, the incumbent Republican, will say that he's going to continue to run for the U.S. Senate as an independent. One of the big unanswered questions, and we'll have more on this as the date and tomorrow unfold, is whether or not Christ will say he intends, if he wins as an independent, to caucus with Republicans in the U.S. Senate. That is a very important answer and will determine in some measure how many right-leaning independents uh, and swing vote Republicans would be willing to consider him if he runs as an independent. Man, Carl, this already fascinating race just got a whole lot more interesting uh, potentially here. It's be, it's, Effectively, it will make it a general election three-way race now for the next seven months while the rest of the country is still in primaries. Yeah. All right. Uh, we will wait to hear as you get more. Carl Cameron uh, reporting from Florida for us. Carl, thanks. You bet.